Welcome back. Let's talk about the postures that are closed pelvis, straight legs, like waterfall, which is the Ashtanga pose, intense leg of this intense leg stretch of the east, or Prasvottanasana. Pardon my Sanskrit, I'm sure it's highly imperfect. So there's that posture, which is the one with your hands behind your back and straight legs. There's waterfall, which to me is the one with, it's without your hands behind your back and then revolved triangle, okay? So these all have the same integrity from the hips to the floor, all of them. That should not change in any of them. And maybe as you keep practicing, you'll start to see that there's like maybe four or five sort of blueprints of a posture and then everything else is just slight variations of that all the cueing is really, really similar. So once you start to feel and sense that in your body, you'll know your patterns, because there's not really a right way. I always think like, I'm learning what, where, which emphasis to put on which syllable, right? You like that? That's for my dad. I think I just screwed it up a little bit, but you know, sometimes we put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. How's that? That makes more sense, right? And so learning which parts of your body to emphasize and which parts of your body to soften around is really what we're looking for. We're trying to dig out of grooves. We're trying to wake up being in the now, which is what this asana practice allows you to embody more fully. Okay, so enough of my chatting at you. Let's get to it. So neutral hips. Okay, if you've not done the mountain pose video, you might wanna go back to that one first. Neutral hips, neutral pelvis, two fists distance apart. Hips as headlights, they're facing forward. Step your left foot back. Okay, are my toes gonna to go perfectly straight ahead? No, why? Because it's effectively like going like this. See how my foot's turned in? When you step back into that field, when you put your leg behind you, by turning your feet straight ahead, you're really almost going pigeon-toed. It's too internal on that back leg, and it kind of might make your thighs kind of cross here, especially if you have movement, if you have flexibility. So instead, the left toes are flared, I don't know, an inch and a half it looks like to me, three to five centimeters, is that what an inch and a half is? I'm not sure. <laughs> Us Americans, we do some real backward stuff. Okay, so, but I love America, so don't send me things about that, okay? Glad to be here, but we could also improve some things. Okay, so back toes turn a little to the flare, right? That's a whole message. We can love something and also hope for it to see its potential just like these postures. Now, tendency might be to go too long here, but I also see a lot of people who go way too freaking short. This is too short. I don't care how tight you are, it's too short. Okay, so go a little longer, unless you really need stability, go a little longer and get to the place where you have to kind of work to put your left heel down. Now, hips are facing forward, and the key here to not piss off your back is to check in that you still have a relatively neutral low back. So there's a very slight curvature here. A lot of us come at these postures with straight legs and we look like this. I can hardly even do it, but you round the back and then you wonder why your back feels like total shit after holding this a while. We're working to find a place that your back can be neutral. Okay, so I sometimes have my students, and you are now one of my students, bend their knees and pop your butt up like you're wearing a tutu, you know, like boop, right? So get that feeling of trying to get your butt up. It's almost like you're trying to take a back bend here. Unlock your right knee, you won't be able to do that with your legs locked back, and then pull up through both butt bones. So waterfall, as we like to call it in Detroit, I don't know if it's called that everywhere, is both legs straight, some people might call it pyramid posture, both legs straight-ish, I don't care about them being perfectly straight, so if you're tight, it might look like this, and you might be like, holy cannoli, my hamstrings are on fire. Okay, if you're flexible, watch for locked knees. If you're not flexible, watch for locked knees, but you're trying to draw up through your sit bones. And then the other big piece here, turn myself around, is that the hip might kind of want to hike forward. I want you to take your right hand to your right hip and pull your right hip back. And then think about being more elongated, more long. So some of us could even use two sets of blocks because we're just that freaking tight, okay? Waterfall does not need to be deep. And if you have a lot of low back pain because of tight hamstrings, you might do every folding posture here. Now, play again with that hug the legs together feeling or pull the heels apart feeling, front to back, side to side. I'll take any which way, but side to side is what I'm working. And then see if you can go lower, maybe you can. How do you turn it into Prasvottanasana? You simply bring your hands behind you 
in reverse namaste or knuckles together or thumbs this way okay all of those work so stabilize you need width right to left you're not on a tightrope ribs kind of want to dump forward but that's okay for a second here because we're working to keep the butt lifting and the hips flaring right i call it twerking energy and sure some of us can go low and stay neutral but most of us if we go low either we fall apart or we go we're here you're in a back bend or a rounded back okay so we're not trying to be in a rounded back position now how do you change that into revolved triangle get all the integrity back right toes forward i'll switch legs let's go to our left side if you're still with me here left toes forward right toes out flared okay not too short not too long just right like goldilocks okay flare your sit bones bend your knees pop your booty boop twerk okay so is that exaggerated yes but as you hinge in i've never seen someone stay too exaggerated here zero times okay so push through your right heel pull up through your left butt bone maybe a block underneath the right hand peel the outer right hip back so take that thumb to that flesh and pull it back keep extending your spine forward neutral back you are on a skewer like say your rotisserie tofurkey i don't recommend those they're gross in my vegan years good now stay where you are in your torso the rotation comes from your high waist your mid thoracic a lot of us as we start to move into the triangle we start to dump and then you start to make the twist more important and it's like your legs are crisscrossed so if you make the twist more important you're here right you're just chilling try to put your hips back on straight extend the spine and rotate from the heart without losing the tension in that back foot that back leg so one of the things that I often like to show up everyone on this posture is if I take my left arm straight out to the side, okay, I'll put a block here. If I was to literally let my hips do whatever the hell they want, I have not, I'm not moving my arm. I'm literally just moving my pelvis. Now I feel like I'm in this big twist, but nothing has actually twisted except for my pelvis, my hips have swayed. So if I keep my hips square, extend the spine and rotate from the ribs, that's what we're looking for. I think of it like you're securing the base of the pickle jar so that you can twist open. If you take your feet and you go straight ahead here and you try to rotate from your ribs without changing your hips, how far do you go? 30 to like 60 degrees is average. Most of us hardly go anywhere, okay? The tighter your hips, the less you're gonna go. Here's the last piece. Is there a little bit of a play in your pelvis when you twist? Absolutely. Heavy your right heel, that hip's gonna fall a little bit in so that you don't piss off your low back, your SI joints, your facet joints, but there's definitely a stabilizing energy. I am all about pulling apart in a, in a revolved half, or a revolved triangle here. Revolved half means it's cousin, mm -hmm. right? It just lifts the back leg if you're going there, just FYI. Everything else stays the same, okay? I'm really creating stability. And then I let the twist happen. The twist comes from surrender. Woo, good job. I want a yoga squat after that. Take care of what you need to do. Listen to your body. Try not to get frustrated. The postures feel out of reach. You're breaking habits in your body. And also, you're not meant to look like me. You're meant to look like you. You're just meant to be you a little more consciously. That's it. A little more wakeful, a little more honest. And really, I just want to help you protect your pelvis, your body, your joints, so that you can maintain health vivaciousness, vitality for as long as possible. Good work, you guys. More alignment videos coming soon. Let me know in the comments what other alignment videos you want to see, and I'd be happy to make those for you. Thanks so much. Have a good one, you guys.